I think it's working now. Sorry about that. My mic was not working. All right. Already off to a bad start. All right. So uh, <laughs> um, hopefully everybody can hear me now. All right. Let's just do this all over again. All right. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everybody? Team View here back again in Oaklands. And uh, today I'm going to be doing a live tutorial of my wood and ore drop off. Um, this will be for one truck load, uh, the cylinder truck and stuff like that. Hopefully everybody is ready for this tutorial. Uh, I will have the chat disabled and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Oh man. What a bad start though with the mic muted. Uh, anyways, so... Um, just a couple things to keep in mind for this tutorial. Uh, this is just for the cylinder truck and that's it. Um, it's not going to be for a truck and trailer and stuff. And also this wooden ore drop off uh, is not very good with grimestone. Grimestone will kind of get stuck and stuff. Um, so just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah. So, uh, one second, let me just make sure everything's good. All right. All right. Hopefully you guys are ready for this. Uh, let's get right into it and I'll tell you guys kind of like what you'll need. Um, let's go over a couple things in just a second. Uh, first we're going to start with at least getting some settings, uh, good. Um, if we go into build or build properties the little house icon at the top if you click on this and if you look at the bottom right of the screen you'll see this little window that says mode and grid and we're gonna change our grid settings to lowest settings so just click on this little minus sign and just make sure this is all at the lowest which is 0 0.25 studs and 11.25 degrees um, this will help with scaling and rotating stuff and uh, so we can make things uh, in the right position and stuff like that. And then let's go right out of build mode once you do that. Um, we're going to be using probably around uh, 17 or 18 borderless conveyors. We're going to be using a industrial refinery, industrial forge, a uh, planker, and two uh, industrial sanders. Um, you could use one, but I'm going to use two because it's just more efficient, I believe. And we're going to use um, some schematics. We're going to use a couple like wedge schematics and cube schematics. So, uh, yeah. All right. First things first is we're going to find a place to put our wood and ore drop off and I'm going to put mine in this area right here and then let's hop right in our cylinder truck and we're going to just position this where we want our drop off to begin basically. So just try to get it as straight as possible. Uh, is this straight? I don't know. Good enough, maybe. Alright, so once you have the cylinder in position, uh, we're going to grab a schematic. So let's go back into our build properties. Click on this little house icon. Go to schematics. Grab a wedge schematic. And we're going to place this kind of like on the Round. We're going to move this to where it's kind of like like at the side of our truck here. We're going to just move this one like that to where it's kind of away from the truck like this. And we're going to stretch this to the other side and do the same thing to where you just have it like a little bit past the truck on the side just like so and now what we're going to do is lift this up by just one like so like that then we'll place this 
and then we can fill this with it, uh, whatever material you, uh, with whatever material you want. I'm going to be using oak wood, so let's grab some oak wood. Boom! There we go. So that's good. Let's move my truck out of the way just for now. And next thing we're going to do is grab a cube schematic. So get a cube schematic. We'll put this right on the side of this wedge right here. Oops. Um, with this, so uh, we are going to scale this. We're going to flatten it to the side like this. And then we're going to stretch this up. You want it kind of high so that when you drive your truck in and things won't fall out on the side or whatever. So you don't want to have it like super low like this because things will probably fall off and whatever. So just stretch it up a little bit like this. And then we will stretch this uh, all the way out to its max length, just like so. And before we place it, I'm going to press the number two. So we're in move mode. And then I'm going to press E to place a schematic. And now we're going to drag this over here to place another schematic, uh, another cube schematic on this side like this. And we're going to fill these in with whatever materials you want. So I'm going to be using oak wood. Let's get some uh, oak wood. Fill these in. Do, 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 do. All right. So now we got some walls for our drop off. Now we're going to begin with some borderless conveyors. We've got a bunch right here. So we're going to need about like six in this area like uh, two rows basically of borderless conveyors so let's grab some let's grab a borderless conveyor we're gonna move this kind of against the wall here make sure the direction of the conveyor is going that way so it pushes stuff in and then we are going to scale this kind of like to the center area of this like so and then we're just gonna stretch this all the way to its full length just like that and we're gonna place that and let's get another borderless conveyor and we're gonna put this one on the other side just like so, and going to stretch this to the center, and we'll just stretch this all the way out, like that. Next, we're going to get some more borderless conveyors. There's going to be a lot of uh, borderless conveyors for this uh, drop-off, so just keep that in mind. Alright, for this one, we're going to place this one here, make sure it's going the right direction. Now for this one, as you can see here, there's like this little gap. If you place this, you'll see this like little gap right here. What I'm going to do is just move it back by one. So like move it in. That way that line kind of disappears or that little gap or whatever disappears. And after doing that, we are going to stretch this to the center. And we're gonna stretch this all the way out to its max length, just like so. Then we're gonna get another borderless conveyor. Do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna place this right here. I'm gonna move it back one, just like that. And we're gonna stretch this to the center. And then we're gonna stretch this all the way to its max length just like so. I know it's a little dark, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> too bad we don't have like night vision or something. I don't know. <laughs> and we're going to grab some more borderless conveyors. And we're going to put this one over here. Just like this. We're going to move it in. Just like that. And we're going to stretch this one to the center just like this and then we're going to stretch this one all the way to 
the end of this wall here on the inside make sure you keep it on the inside just like so which that's what we want and here let me uh, get my truck for some light hold up <laughs> it's gonna get really dark in here over here so let's just have some light here all right so we're gonna get another borderless conveyor and i'm gonna bring this over here against this wall move it in one i'm gonna stretch it out to here and to the end of this wall right here so it should look just like that where it's on the inside right to the end here and so far we're doing pretty good we're going to grab some more borderless conveyors so let's get some and we're going to bring this over here and for this one we're going to rotate this one so i want to do this like one two three and then we're going to kind of move this in a little bit and move it back to I like to the wall here. Oops, why, why do my tools keep connecting over there? All right, so this is gonna go like this, where it's kind of like in the wall right, right there, as you can see. So it's like boop, just like that. And we're gonna stretch this out a bit, like that, and then stretch this like around there somewhere. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's grab another borderless conveyor. Let's grab this. And for this one, we're going to do the same thing. So let's place it here. We're going to rotate this the opposite way. So one, two, three. Just like so. And we're going to move it. Ah, this tools, bro. I don't know why they keep so annoying hopefully <laughs> please fix it uh, all right um so let's stretch this one here we're gonna make sure we just fill these gaps right here so I'll just stretch it to here and stretch it out to about there so it should look like this these will just like push uh, stuff into like the machines or whatever um, Alright, now that we have these, let's grab our planker machine. So we got a planker, bring this over here. And this one, we're just going to kind of like center it or whatever, like so. And we're going to move this in so we can cover this little gap here, just like this. And we'll place it just like that, I think is good and um sorry um what's it called now that we have our planker here we're gonna grab uh our refinery our industrial uh industrial refinery grab this right here and we're gonna put this kind of like on top of the planker and make sure it's centered looks pretty centered and we're gonna drop it down inside of the planker just make sure it's at ground level you'll know it's at ground level uh, ground level when you see this line down here like if you moved it underground it would be like the line will disappear as you can see so just make sure you guys have it at ground level and also make sure you guys don't have this sticking out like this you want it inside of the planker because you don't want like wood and stuff to get stuck so just keep that in mind make sure it's moved in to the planker a bit and once you have it in place just place it all right and then i am going to move this planker straight up so i'm just going to move this straight up out of the way for now just like that and then we can just move that straight back down after but um now we're going to grab the industrial forge this machine right here and we're going to kind of combine this with the refinery 
So let's get the refinery. I'm gonna forage and move it in place. Um, you do not want to have uh, the forge combined like this because if you have it like this or if you have it like this, it will not uh, forge stuff. So just make sure you kind of bring it out a bit more, maybe like around here. I don't know, maybe a little more is good. Just make sure it's like that. Make sure it's like so. And then we're going to place that there. Um, so good. Uh, now what we're going to do is grab a borderless conveyor. So let's go get a borderless conveyor. I'm going to bring this over here and we're going to place this conveyor right in front of the refinery. So this will go like so. And we'll just make sure we cover this little gap here, like so. And just move this into there, where it's combined a little bit with the refinery. And boom, that is good so far. All right, and then next we're gonna grab some more borderless conveyors. So let's get some borderless conveyors. And I'm going to bring these over here. These are going to be on their side, kind of standing up like this. And um, we're going to rotate this one uh, one time. So like rotate it this direction to where it's like that. And we're going to lift this up, bring it in. Just make sure that this conveyor is kind of like on the other conveyors like so and now what we're gonna do is just move this in oh, why is this like that oh, there we go there we go move it back and this one is gonna be kind of like this maybe to where it's a little bit away from the entrance of the refinery just a little bit outside of it it's kind of hard to see but um, this should, let me see if I can move this back a little bit no, that won't work so make sure it's like this that way if you had this more in like this or something things will get stuck so you just want to make sure you kind of have this conveyor like that and then we're going to stretch this up. I'm going to stretch this all the way up to kind of like the height of our walls over here. I might make those walls a little shorter, but yeah. So we'll just make sure this is stretched max, I guess, for now. And we're going to stretch this out to the edge of the refinery. As you can see, it's like right there just like so and we're gonna place that like that next we're gonna grab another borderless conveyor do the same thing on the other side and oops, gonna stand this on its oh meteor <laughs> and we're gonna stand this on its side uh, if I can get this in the right position, there we go. And we're also going to do the same thing where we rotate it like this, just a little bit by one. So, oops. So, just do one and then move it in. Make sure you lift it up to where this part is on uh, the conveyor, just like that. And we're going to move this in and we're going to do the same thing where we have this kind of around this this spot right here where it's just a little bit away from the entrance of the refinery I think that's how we want it yeah all right and then we'll just stretch this up for now and we'll stretch this out 
to the edge of the refinery just like that pretty much it's not going to be perfect each time I guess I don't know what's happening but yeah so like that looking good so far it should look just like that where this will push stuff in to the refinery and now we're going to grab another uh, borderless conveyor so we'll get one of these and for this one we're going to put it on top we're going to flip it upside down and for this one we want the direction of this conveyor to push stuff the opposite direction the reason for this is so that if you do end up going for like grindstone this will kind of push stuff and make it like fall over and go into the machine uh, shout out to the official brick for uh, this little tip because he uh, told me how to, uh, that this helps so and it does help a little bit so yeah so once you have this flipped upside down with the direction going the opposite way we're gonna rotate this uh, at this way so it's going up like that where it looks like that pretty much and we're gonna move this down into here kind of at the edge of the entrance of the refinery like so if I can get a better visual I'll try so like to like right here basically where it's just about at the entrance and we're gonna stretch this on each side like this and like this and we're gonna just stretch this all the way out to here to where it's at the edge of these conveyors here and we'll place that and it should look oh wait i didn't make this go the right way uh, what happened i'll just turn it around there we go so yeah like this where the arrows are going um that direction pretty much so that stuff gets pushed over all right so this is how it looks so far next thing we'll do is bring down our planker which is way up here we'll just move this straight down into here and make sure this is at ground level yeah, uh, here, right here and you'll know it's at ground level because you'll see this line if you move it down too much you won't see the line as you can see like that and I could actually move this back a little bit probably Maybe I'll just move this back a little bit uh, now I'll just leave it as it is so it should look like this probably place that and there we go so far it should be just like this next we're gonna grab some more uh, borderless conveyors let's get some borderless conveyors and for this one we are going to place it on its side standing up kind of and we're going to have it just like this where it pushes stuff into the machines so we're not going to rotate this one we're just going to move this in to here and make sure you lift this up to where this conveyor is kind of like resting on top of that conveyor and we'll stretch this conveyor out make sure it combines with like that conveyor and then we'll just stretch this up just like so and we'll move this back a little bit to where it's at the edge of the planker right here just like that should look like this just like that and I'm gonna stretch this conveyor out just by one there we go all right now we'll do the same thing on the other side let's grab another borderless conveyor 
and this will go over here and this one will be on its side just like this move this in just like the other side make sure that this conveyor is resting on these conveyors right here just like so like that and then we'll stretch this out into this conveyor and we'll stress this all the way up and we'll make sure that this goes out to the edge right here of the uh, planker so it should look just like that you guys can see it should look just something like this I might fix these conveyors because these conveyors should combine a little bit so let's stress these out a little bit. We'll stretch this one out too, just a little bit. So that way we don't see anything that will get st stuff stuck or whatever. As you can see, it should look like this. All right, and now uh, we're gonna get another borderless conveyor. And get this, bring it over here and we're gonna do the same thing as we did for the other one is we're gonna put this on top of here we're gonna flip it upside down make sure the direction of this conveyor also pushes stuff out that way the opposite way this is just so that it can uh, make certain stones and things kind of push over or whatever and we're also going to rotate this so we're going to rotate it like this just once i think and we'll lift oops i didn't mean to do that i accidentally hit the wrong button <laughs> all right um we'll have this go into here so this is going to go into this conveyor here. Uh, move this like so. Uh, I'm going to stretch this to the other side. Like that. And as you can see, we'll stretch this out to about here. Just like that. That's what we want. All right, so things are looking good. It should look like this, where the top ones are pushing the opposite way, the side ones are pushing in, and the bottom ones are also pushing in. It's like a little funnel type of thing happening, basically. Uh, let's grab two more um, borderless conveyors. Grab one of these and we'll place these over here standing up on its side and we'll rotate this one two three so three times we'll move this over here and we'll move this up to where this conveyor is resting on these conveyors down here and We'll stretch this all the way up and we'll bring this conveyor all the way to the wall. It's going to go through the wall a little bit, just a little bit. So it should look like this where it's pushing stuff in and you will see that some of it sticks out of the side of the walls, but that's okay. Let's grab some more borderless conveyors and we're going to bring these over to this side we're going to do the same thing where this is standing just like this and we're going to rotate it one two three just like that there we go we'll move this over to here and 
and this should go like that. Make sure that this conveyor is resting on these conveyors just like that and we'll stretch this all the way up and we'll stretch this out into the walls right here so to make sure it goes through the wall just a little bit so it should look kind of like this sort of now it won't be perfect but you know it's pretty good I'll probably just stretch this back by one like so it should look kind of like that I guess through the wall and that is pretty much like a little funnel type of thing so that things just go in inside the uh, planker and the refinery and forge um, next oh, next thing we'll do is get some uh, wedge schematics so let's get a wedge schematic we're going to place this schematic on this wall right here up top and we'll just move this to like kind of like the uh, on the inside at the end where the wall is right here on the top so like this we're gonna sh shrink this down maybe all the way and then we'll just stretch it back out like one two three or maybe two something like that I'll stretch this out just a little bit and actually we'll do we'll stretch this one more so one two three four we'll do four I think we'll stretch this back a little bit and it should look something like this I think and we'll place that there and we'll place this one on the other side we'll turn this over make sure it's just like this we'll fill this in with whatever why is this different why is that one different than this one that's weird well let me move this back I guess a little bit why let's move this in this sorry uh, um hmm. I did something a little wrong but I'll move the planker back just a little bit so that we don't see the planker poking out all right I'm gonna also lower this wall actually not this should, this should be fine all right so now we're gonna fill these wedges in let's go get some oak wood since I have oak wood you guys can use whatever you want let's fill those in all right so it should look something like this like where the wedges are like that and let's get our truck and just see if we can park our truck inside of here hopefully I did this right <laughs> so you should be able to just drive in and that is a problem we don't want that so I have to move I have to stretch these down a little bit the wedges here stretch this down to like here maybe do the same thing on this side stretch it down a little bit like that I think let's see if it'll work now no it's still not working why all right I should have probably uh, <laughs> this is why it's hard to make a tutorial video because uh, I always mess up stuff. Um, stretch this down a little bit more, I guess, like so. Do the same thing on this. If I can grab, if I can get it. I don't know. There we go. 
Let's dress this down a little bit more. Hopefully that is good enough. And as you can see, it's not bugging out. Oh, well, I guess it is bugging out. Why is it bugging out? <laughs> All right. Um, let's stretch this out just by one like this. I'll do the same thing on the other side. If I can grab this, I'm going to stretch this out. So hopefully that helps. Let's see. Because we don't want our truck to be bouncing around, right? So, so this should be good. It's kind of not good. I think I made these walls too high. Uh, I should have just made a video. <laughs> it should be easier. <laughs> I don't know. I have a hard time making videos. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Let's just stress this down even more, I guess. Do, 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 do. And then this side. If I can grab this, I'll stretch it down a little more. Should this this should work, right? Yeah. All right. So it should be like this to where when you pull in with your truck, it won't. Um, bounce around or glitch or, or like whatever like if you take these out oops if you take these out right it'll start like moving and whatever we don't want that so that's why we have these wedges in here so that it's like a stopper type of thing like that looking good I could actually stretch these out a little bit more. Let me, let's let's stretch this out a little bit more. These wedges, I'll just stretch these out like a little bit more. I'll just uh, something like that. That way, uh, it does stop the truck just like that so far so good let's get um let's get one more actually wait hold on let's go up here and for this conveyor up here i might rotate it a little bit more so rotate it one, two, like maybe one, well, yeah, like, well, let me rotate it, oh, one, there we go, we'll just move this up a little bit, and let me move my truck, And then, if I can see in here, let's see. So this should go to about there, right? I can't see. It's so hard to see in this. <laughs> um, okay, so I might have to change that conveyor a little bit. Uh, whatever, it's good enough. All right, let's stretch this up to here. I think if I can get a good visual, it's hard. It's really hard to like see stuff in such a tight area, like for real. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stress this out a little bit more. This side, this side, and that conveyor should be good like that. All right, so next thing uh, we gotta do is get the uh, industrial sanders in here. So let's get one of these sanders. We'll bring it over here and we'll make sure it's going the right direction where it's pushing stuff in that way. 
these arrows are so confusing, but I think, yeah, that's the wrong way, so, uh, let's go this way, make sure that the arrows are going that way, so it's pushing stuff in, and then we'll bring this underneath the borderless conveyors, just to where you don't see it anymore, so like this, you, you don't want to see this, you want it to go just one under, like that. And then it like disappears like that. Pretty cool. Let's grab our other sander. And we'll bring this in to here. Maybe have this like, we'll just make sure this goes in just a little bit like up to where the um, planker is right here. where the, oops, I clicked on something, sorry about that. So yeah, so like right where the planker is, like the entrance of the planker, we'll just move this down underneath the borderless conveyors, just like that, make sure nothing is poking out like that. You just want it to be right under, there we go. And I think that's it. That's the wooden ore drop off pretty much completed. You guys can pretty much also add whatever you want onto the end. If you want to build something like this where all the ores go up into like a bin or whatever. But um, let's test this out first. Oh, actually, wait, wait. One more thing before we end it uh, or before we do anything. Um, I'm going to put a sliding door as well. Let's get a sliding door, yeah. So let's get a... I forgot to mention we needed a sliding door. Sorry about that. But uh, you can get this at the Illumine Design Shop. And this is just going to go kind of like around here, maybe. We'll make sure we move... To where this is the handle thing is like underneath uh, the conveyor and then we'll stretch this up I'll move this oops no stop all right um, we'll move this down to like there and we'll have this kind of to where the end of this wedge and wall is but we'll lift this up like three times so like one two three just a little bit over and we'll stretch this out and we'll stretch this back down so we don't see the handle so it should look kind of like this it doesn't have to be perfect but so I'm going to do that. We're going to fill this sliding door with whatever material. I'm going to use oak wood. There we go. Did I fill it in? No, not enough. And fill that. Still not enough. Alright. Uh, and it should look kind of like this. Like so. That. perfect so if you don't want stuff to go in you just want to keep this closed so nothing happens or whatever that's a good way to stop it and then we might make a little uh, top part so that things don't overflow so let's get a cube schematic and we'll put this one right up here we'll just flatten this out to about there, like that. We'll stretch this to the other side, just like this. And we'll stretch this to like where the wedges are, the length of the wedge. Sort of like this, I think. Should be good enough. Let's fill that with whatever material you want. I'm gonna use oak wood, because I have oak wood. And 
that should be pretty good. Let me fix this a little bit. Boop. Just like that. So it should look like this pretty much. Now we can open this and then stuff can go like in there. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, now that is pretty much the wooden ore drop off completed. Let's test it out with some stuff. Um, we're going to test it out with some uh, marble and some grindstone and some wood. We'll start with the wood first. I have to get some trees, so let's get some trees really quick. Chop, 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 buddy, chop. Chop, 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 buddy, chop. I did have some wood ready for this, but. Sadly, logs disappear out over time. All right, let's put this in there, and this one. Yeah, let's get a little bit more. And we'll stop the, we'll cut this right here. And we'll do this one. If I can cut this over in the right spot, which it never lets me. Okay. Just like that. All right, let's get my truck over here. Be better if it was a little closer. And we'll put this in there, this in there. Uh, I should probably cut this a little bit. All right, this should be good enough. Let's test this out, make sure it works. So we'll just drive into our drop off, go right in, respawn our truck, and then everything should get sanded and go right into the planker. Nice, everything seems to be working. Let me just make sure these are not jammed. I'll just wait for all this to finish. out so slow wish we had a faster machine e. That's all the wood so now let's test out uh, marble so marbles like the second biggest thing in the game second biggest stone or ore so we'll just load up our truck with all this There we go. Uh, some of it's on the side, but that's okay. We have a lot. All right, so then we'll just drive into our drop off and respawn our truck. And everything should go inside without getting stuck, I think, right? 
seems like everything is working everything goes in perfectly we'll just uh, move all this out of the way Alright, so that was that. Alright, next we'll try Grimestone. Now, Grimestone will get stuck probably, but we'll see uh, what happens, I suppose. So I have a bunch of Grimestone here. Some Greed. I think there's like one with like uranium in here. I don't know. Put that in there. Oops, that didn't get in. Can't move this. There we go. That can go into there. And I'll just bring these into here. I'll just leave that out because it will slip out. All right, so let's test this with grime stone. Now, most likely things will get stuck, but maybe it won't. There's a chance that it won't. Let's respawn our truck, just like so. And will it all go through without a problem? I guess since they're not standing up, it might go through. No, it's getting stuck. So yeah, like I said, um, Grimestone will get stuck in this build. Uh, there's not much you can do about it, I guess, since Hoofer hasn't made a bigger uh, refinery and forge. So yeah, that's what's going to happen if you get Grimestone. So just try not to get Grimestone for this drop-off, I guess. Or just... I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial on how to make an ore and wood drop-off. Um, I mean, you could use it just for, like, wood or just for ore, whatever you wanted. You can switch these out and stuff or whatever. But, um... Yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'll probably do a tutorial in the future for like a truck and trailer since truck and trailer is bigger than this drop off and longer as well. But this is pretty uh, nicely uh, condensed for a wooden ore drop off. Pretty, uh, pretty nice, safe space and it works pretty well. Um, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, um, if you guys want to see me making, I'm having a bad day of connections. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, yeah, just like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Wait, let me do this. <laughs> uh, where is it? Like, subscribe, hit that bell button, do all that shenanigans, and I'll see you all later.